got yourself a new boyfriend yet. That's uh, actually why I'm here. I think you should meet. <laughs> Is this Boyd's favorite place? <laughs> Feels like he's always meeting on this bridge. That's an agreement that you made with Mags, but you continue to honor it because of her son, Dickie. It seems to me that if Dickie were to join Mags in the afterlife, there would be no person for that money to go to. <laughs> I'm disappointed to hear you say that, Mr. Crowd. <laughs> I was hoping that maybe you'd come here to discuss uh, other business. Like what? Would you give my regards mm -hmm. to Arlo. Last time I saw him was on this very bridge. Well, there's a story waiting to be told. Maybe you need a little help with your uh, weed problem. Arlo, just cause you're an old man, the only reason you're not getting one of these. <laughs> Next time they give you an order, Blackburn the weed, you follow it. Let's go. I hope someone else drives. Not the guy who just got knocked out. You're not gonna see the house, are you? I'm sorry. It's, you I don't just have, have to apologize. It's your job. job. Go do your job. Why is he suddenly completely fine with his store? That guy down there with the hat. His name's Raylan Givens. He's a marshal. Incidents like the one with Crowder, they happen in this place all the time. If it wasn't for us kind-hearted guards. Officer, I believe you're trying to scare me. Mm. I mean, you're doing your best. <laughs> I over every word of that conversation between you and Crowder. And I want that money. <laughs> <laughs> You and Boyd and everybody else wants a piece of me, you're just gonna have to ha, ha, hold your horses until I'm home sweet out of here. Is that all? Mm hmm. Well, let's make that happen right now. <laughs> I don't want your wrench set. Get out. Asshole. Kiss your mama with that mouth? I sure do. If she were still alive. That line almost sounded improvised. Come all the way out here to let Messer get away. One of your boys let him get away. I got the driver. Besides, these boots aren't made for running. To bring your kids to work day? Wife's sick or shit day. That explains the fried chicken for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they say the difference is a drunk will steal your wallet and feel like shit about it. Addict will steal your wallet and help you look for it. These days in this county, a lot of folks will help you look for your wallet. <laughs> It's my fault, really. Work with addicts, shit is bound to fall on your head. I'm hurting awful bad. <laughs> you win, uh -huh. you get a pill. This is a Russian roulette. One pull the trigger. That's all you gonna get. Is it even loaded, actually? I think I didn't pay attention. I didn't see him putting a bullet in there. One more. Huh? You heard me. That ain't how Russian roulette works. You're not playing Russian roulette, dumb shit. You're playing Harlan roulette. <laughs> you pull the trigger as many times as it takes for the gun to go off. That's how it works in Harlem. You pull that trigger again, I'll give you this whole bottle. You two can share it. Go. The gun is not loaded. Why would he risk something like that in his office? Getting blood all over his walls and everything? <laughs> <laughs> he ran himself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, I was right. <laughs> you actually thought I was going to let you kill yourself in my office? <laughs> awesome. Maybe it's just your lucky day, son. Huh? 
maybe not. Well, now your walls are all bloody. What the fuck, dude? You think I don't have plans to get this crew paid, Arlo? If you do, I sure as hell haven't heard them. <laughs> you haven't even told us where the hell John is. He's probably setting up something somewhere, huh? Bathroom? Uh, down the hall to the right. <laughs> I know. Yeah? When? At the door, pal. <laughs> what the fuck? School too much, but trust me on this. You are gonna love the view down here. <laughs> His face. <laughs> what you got in the back there? Oh, the mm -hmm. back room. Uh, that's not for customers. Customer Deputy U.S. <laughs> Marshal Railing Givens. Got a warrant there, Marshal? It's just a nice, friendly visit. Without a warrant, this is friendly as I get. <laughs> Pawn shop would be the perfect place to hide the swag in plain sight. I'll tell you, if I ever break bad, I will keep that in mind. <laughs> See you around, Glenn Vogel. <laughs> Glenn Vogel. Water White 2.0. <laughs> Who's that? It's a pawn shop owner down in Harlem. Raylan Given. He's been sniffing around. Cowboy Marshall, the one with oh, the hat. <laughs> Obviously, Givens is a hard guy to kill. Do you think Mr. Pawn Shop Guy is up to the task? No. Exactly. What I have planned for Harlan, Mr. Pawn Shop Guy is more trouble than he's worth. <laughs> His name is Glenn Vogel. You sure? Because you cannot unring that bell. Okay. I'll take care of it. Mm hmm. I'm totally thinking about sending these two guys, huh? Marshal named Givens. Says you are a federal fugitive. I was going to tell you about that. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, I know you were. Uh... <laughs> You are a stupid, selfish, oxy-smoking gutter turd. This federal that's after you, you, you know him? You old friends or something? I set him up for Dickie Ben and strung him up in a tree. I don't know, is that okay. a friend? <laughs> it's very close. <laughs> you want to meet him at your house in an hour. When he comes up to the door, you say hi, and you shoot him through the screen. Do you think you can handle that? <laughs> Do I have to do that? Has he ever killed someone? This guy? We can take this bar back in a civilized manner. Or Devil here can send you to the hospital and we can take it the same way you did. Think I'll take option C. Now you take that gun off of him. <laughs> you met my friends? No, you met mine. <laughs> Well, you got here quick. Seemed like you're in a real hurry to turn yourself in. Well, I guess uh -huh. he's pretty surprised to hear from me. No need to explain. Why's that? On account that you just did not 30 minutes ago when you called. <laughs> Let me just get inside real quick. I appreciate you coming out here to get me. Especially after all that went on with Dickie. I'm awful sorry about all that. Consider it water under the bridge, Wade. I, I just want you to realize that when I... Uh, <laughs> he has found the gun already. Raiden, I mean. He didn't change your shirt. <laughs> Was it because you went in the house looking for this? There you go. <laughs> We're all friends, aren't we? Friends? You strung me up and left me for dead. I thought that was the water under the bridge. <laughs> I've been shot. Mr. Fogel, I need help. Grab some guns and ammo from out front. <laughs> Seems like he's not completely retarded. <laughs> Bet you're looking for Wade Messer. Have you, uh, haven't seen him, have you? Oh, yeah. He's right <laughs> there, handcuffed in the back seat of my car. Oh, come on, you're not gonna take an addict's word for it. How about you drop the gun now, huh? Alright, you know he's there. There's still two of us and one of you. More like one and a half. Look at him. He's stoned. What'd you even bring him for? Uh -huh. Maybe as a shield. <laughs> Put that down. Let's hear it. I got somewhere else I want to be. Somewhere more important than here with me? 
thinking of buying a house. <laughs> really? What neighborhood? In the greater Lexington area of Kiss My Ass. Mmm, I know that place. Been there many times. He's saying he could just make a deal and skate just after all the shit he's done? Put the gun down. Well, it's too bad you don't know what's going on up in Frankfurt. You can make your own. These two are going to shoot each other. No. <laughs> Settle I am down. officially turning myself in, and I can guarantee you, <laughs> whatever these two addicts are accusing me of, they are in fact responsible Beckett, for themselves. Put that gun down. I'll turn myself in, Marshal, long as you kill Fogel. All right. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> put your guns down, both of you. Called it. <laughs> I was a kid. My old man wouldn't let us watch Mr. Rogers or Sesame Street. He made us watch Taxi Driver. <laughs> that explains the gun. <laughs> Stand up, turn around, put your hands in the air. How may we help you, Marshal? <laughs> Remember that conversation we weren't going to have? No! Look here. Next one's coming faster. <laughs> How fast do you think those bullets will be when they're heading back at you? <laughs> well, now it's on, huh?